when you continue to walk in that forgiveness, what it does for you, but also what it does for them is what I think that the Apostle Paul was getting at. Forgive, but extend an act of comfort or kindness to that person. And I think that helps us to get through the layers and to the depths of making sure we're actually forgiving that person and walking in it in a practical way. We're gonna have to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to forgive like that, to live like that, to walk in compassion when people are wronging us or have wronged us or offended us. I heard someone say, you've probably heard this before, that unforgiveness is like drinking poison and wanting it to kill the other person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you're consuming that yeah. over and over and over again. And so that idea that, you know, if you knew that you were taking in something that was poisonous in a physical sense, and it was what was keeping you toxic and not feeling well and not able to function in all areas of your life well physically, well, we would stop taking that substance. Mm, right. But if we know that unforgiveness is what is doing that spiritually, we're less willing <laughs> to put down that cup and stop drinking that unforgiveness. Um, but it is toxic to us and it's toxic in a spiritual sense and it's toxic in a physical sense. I mean, people's actual physical bodies are breaking down yeah. under the weight of carrying um, unforgiveness throughout throughout their lives. And so I think this is an important conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I was just looking on my phone for a second to try to find the exact verse. But the Apostle Paul talks about forgiveness and in this beautiful verse, he says, forgive and extend kindness mm -hmm. to the person that you've forgiven, basically. Mm -hmm. It's almost like when we're dealing with the layers of forgiveness, as you mentioned, Crystal, it's almost like he's saying what will help you and the other person is not only if you just say you forgive, which is important, believe, have faith that you are forgiving this person, but also walking in that actual forgiveness by extending an intentional act of kindness, whether it is just a smile across the, you know, you see them somewhere and you smile at them, or a text to say happy birthday on their birthday, or you take that meal when they're sick and something's going on. What that does for you in continuing to solidify the work of forgiveness in you and also what it does for them and maybe getting them off of that walking on eggshells and pins and needles wondering whether or not they've been forgiven or even cracking down or, or chiseling away at the hardness of heart of that person maybe that has not said they're sorry. Um, but maybe it chisels away a little bit when you continue to walk in that forgiveness, what it does for you, but also what it does for them is what I think that the Apostle Paul was getting at, okay. forgive but extend an act of comfort or kindness to that person. And I think that helps us to get through the layers and to the depths of making sure we're actually forgiving that person and walking in it in a practical way. You know, when you just said, uh, it's like drinking poison and expecting it to kill the other person, I was just thinking, why would I be drinking poison? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, why? And I think there's a variety of reasons. One is that you don't realize that it's poison, mm -hmm. but I was thinking, <laughs> it made me think about, you know, People say all the time about how you, you are what you eat. And, you know, if you know this stuff isn't good for you, why do you eat it? Well, sometimes <laughs> it, tastes it tastes good. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. But if you've ever had something for the first time that maybe initially isn't your favorite and then you keep eating it mm -hmm. after a while, you get used to it. Mm -hmm. I think unforgiveness after a while tastes good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would like agree. Like you actually yeah. can become used to comfortable with the feeling of I'm not giving you what you need. Mm -hmm. Especially if you talk about it. Especially right. if you, with like your it, talking you can about get it with drunk the people around you on unforgiveness. Right. Yeah. And so I'm thinking about the person who's listening to you and as we're talking, they're like, that's cute. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm not, I'm not, you know, because you start to feel the power of the Holy Spirit as he's moving and you, you start to feel that conviction. And I've seen women do it. I've seen them go, <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm not calling her. You know, I mean, you can see the reaction. Yeah. And I've seen this in my own life where there was something that's so hard or forgiveness is so what I don't want to do that I'm willing to sit with the thing that's not good for me because it's hard to go on a diet. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, you may have yeah. to change your friend group because you you're to only change, common right. by the negative thing that you're You have to make the changes, about. right. Yeah. You have to make those changes. And so, you know, I'm just thinking about the person who's watching, and we, we said that, but I just want to underscore that poison just because you don't feel like it's killing you 
doesn't mean that it's not having an adverse reaction yeah. in your own heart and mind. Right. Forgiveness, if you know that there's someone that you haven't forgiven, if there's, I'm sitting here going, okay, like, let me, <laughs> let me, like, you know, what do I want to get out of my system right. that is not good for me? Right. Because I am not actively thinking, how can I forgive and how can I show kindness? Proverbs 17, 9, it says, he who covers yeah. and forgives oh, an Lord, offense seeks love. Yeah. How many times do we want to seek being right? Yes. Right. More we than we want to that, yeah. seek yes. love. Right. Yes. You know, because that's what it's all about. I'm right. Mm -hmm. That was wrong. You shouldn't have done that to me. I'm nurturing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sitting with this like you're talking about because I'm right. And right. and and you know, we won't we should want what's right in the eyes of God more than we want to be right. Mm -hmm. Because good. even if we are right we're wrong <laughs> when it comes to God, yeah. if we're not seeking Forgive. forgiveness and seeking love. Right. So it's like you said, you know, it's just, you can sit with it, but it's, are you seeking what God wants? Right. Are you seeking love? Are you seeking just to be proven right? Well, and I think an act of kindness can also be a prayer. Because there are some people that you can't reconcile or you can't Absolutely. do an act of kindness and Absolutely. go. And maybe it's someone of the opposite gender and you're like, I can't go yeah. bring them a meal. That will yeah. totally ruin everything we just did. We broke up or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, like inappropriate at that point, you know. Like, don't cook for him. Yeah, don't bad. cook for him. <laughs> yeah. Let's be clear. Can I bring you a meal? Yeah. Would you like to go to dinner? <laughs> I want to show you forgiveness for how you treated me. So here's a meal. No, that's terrible. And so, but maybe an act of kindness is praying for them. Yeah. And if your prayers are God, I pray he, you know, that's gets great. in a wreck or whatever. That's not a good prayer. That's not <laughs> kindness. But your prayer may be, God, I pray the best over him. Yeah. And when you can get to that point, then you know something's changed in yes. your heart. Because you're not praying God to bring justice. You're praying God to bring love yeah, bring and blessing. restoration mm -hmm. to them. It doesn't mean reconciliation. And so I do think that an act of kindness needs to be acknowledged of it may be praying. Very it good. may be how you talk about them. Like you may extend- Or that you don't talk about them Right, about them. yes, yeah. that you stop. And so I just think we have to clarify too, because it can't be a meal with the ex, you know, like please stay away at that point, you know? <laughs> but whatever it is, just, it's kindness of your heart. It's that, the heart of it to go, you know what, God, I want to be pure before you. I want to show them love and what I say, what I don't say and how I respond and what I don't do and how I pray for them and believe for them. The best is yet to come in their life, you know? Mm. It's a matter of the heart because right. the Bible says, pray for those, you know, who persecute you. Pray for those who have ought against you. Pray for those. And I mean, I, I have experienced this myself. I would pray and I would thank God, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I mean this, <laughs> but I'm going to keep doing it yeah. until you change my heart. I'm going to do it in obedience yes. to you, mm -hmm. not because I'm so good but only in obedience. And as you That's pray great. in obedience, God can change your heart. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.